What Adonian does in this film is stupid. <laughs> guys, you gotta watch. Guys, see, I'm gonna do a spoiler review. <laughs> Donnie Yen might be the goat. I'm still processing what I just saw. You don't want to be reactionary. You don't want to be reactionary. You see, I don't like doing these. Whenever you watch a film, especially when you watch a certain film, you need to see it a second time. You need to see, you need to see. <laughs> okay, look, here's the, guys, here's the thing, here's the thing. I'm still processing what I just saw. <laughs> okay? I'm still processing what, what I just saw. Because I don't know whether I have seen the greatest action film ever made. So let me just start this. So, see, I don't want to come out and just be this reactionary dude. But I'm just confused right now. Have I seen the greatest action film ever? Or do I just need to see things again? Um, so I'm still twirling through, but one thing is for sure. This is not, this is for sure. Ape Man. Um, several of the previous films that he, he did back in the day. But I think he's most, he's most he's known for his Ape Man movies. This is Donnie Yen's greatest performance. Donnie Yen in this film was stupid. Like, some of the stuff that Donnie Yen did in the film, I was laughing. <laughs> Like, I was literally in the cinema, look, <laughs> I was laughing. Like, because I was like, so I was pumped to see Donnie Yen. Because for me, Donnie Yen is my favorite martial artist right now. And yes, Donnie Yen is better than Bruce Lee. I don't care what anyone says. I didn't stutter. I am a stutterer. I didn't stutter. Donnie Yen is greater than Bruce Lee. Donnie Yen is better than Bruce Lee. That is a fact. What a Donnie Yen does in this film is stupid. <laughs> First of all, his performance, that performance is bloody amazing. So remember, as a martial artist, your main thing is martial artist. So his acting is quality. His physical performance in this, the speed at which he's executing these moves, the grace, the poetry of motion that he has, Cause look, see, Keanu Reeves is that dude. We, I love Keanu Reeves. I, Keanu Reeves is that freaking dude. Don't even stole the show. Like anybody who sees this film will be like, King. Like Donnie Yen stole the show because whenever I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. I don't want, don't want to spoil anything for you guys. But guys, Donnie Yen's first action scene when you see what this guy is doing. Like at a point, I was like, "This is stupid." <laughs> Literally, I, I was laughing. I was like, "This is stupid." What what this guy is doing is bloody stupid. It is absolutely bloody stupid, man. Um, I'm just I'm just thinking about what I've just seen. Okay, but okay, this is because this, this is what I thought. Because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. This should have been the past three. This should have been the, this should have been the past three. Anybody who's seen the film, I don't want to spoil anything. But if this, if it went John Wick one, John Wick two, forget three, and you now do John Wick four, this is a amazing. Story, an amazing rounded story, and so forth. Because this is this is this is, this, is, this was this is this is what part three should have been like. But cool, but John, John Wick three is still good. I actually watched John Wick three before I watched this. But um, but I mean, again, put action to one side. Chad Stahelski, Chad Stahelski, God damn, bro, bro, 
there is, guys, there is a sequence in this that is something that I don't, that I don't think I've seen in, in, in an action film. I don't want to spoil it, but I think you guys will see. There is something that Chance the Hellsky does with the camera, and there's a sequence that he does with the camera where I'm like, I've never seen this. I, I, and guys, I've seen a lot of films. Like, you've seen something similar, but the way he does it, and the way he executes it, and so forth, and how he just extends it's, it's, it's a, a particular camera move. I'm like, I don't think I've ever seen that in an action. <sighs> Man, I've, I've almost forgot. I've got to, I've got to text my boy in Miami, man. Tony B, Tony B. I've got to, I because me and my Tony B, I've got to text Tony B after this, man. The acting is superb. Oh, Bill Skarsgård is amazing. Stalin Skarsgård is probably be proud. Bill Skarsgård is amazing. The acting is amazing. Bill Skarsgård is amazing. Um, Clancy Brown is amazing. Anybody who's um, SpongeBob or Highlander. Um, Shami Anderson is amazing. I don't want to spoil anything, you know. But um, again, we all know what happened to Lance Reddick. For me, I'm still just totally distraught with what happened to Lance Reddick. Because for me, I know Lance Reddick from The Wire, Cedric Daniels. That's, that's where I really know him from. But when you watch the film, name what okay just basically i don't want to spoil anything i don't want to spoil anything just no no let, just that you know it's it was just it was just so strange just seeing lance ready when you just know what has happened to him and so forth. like ah, like how did that guy this healthy just die like that it's just it's, it's it's crazy um guys you gotta watch guys i see i'm gonna do a spoiler review <laughs> let's see i'm gonna do like I need to, because I need to talk to someone about this film. <laughs> I need to talk to someone because there is so much. There, okay, you know what I'm, I'm going to say? Steps. Basically, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to say steps. Bro. Guys, the, guys, there are like, there's, there's a section in Japan. There's a section with a guy played by Scott Adkins and so forth, which... I, because at first I thought when Scott Adkins was like in a fat suit, oh, why did he put Scott Adkins in a fat suit? His sequence is amazing. There's a sequence involving steps. I mean, bro. And I think really, just in terms of his story, this might be the best. For me, I think it's, I still, for me, I still probably liked the chapter two. I don't know, maybe this is the best. I'm trying to think. Maybe I liked the chapter two story better than, than chapter four. For me, my favorite is still chapter two because I've seen it like four or five times now. So I need to watch this again. So as of right now, chapter two is my favorite. This is my see. I don't need to. I don't. I don't need to see this twice to so know that this is my second favorite. Already seen this. Hundred percent is better than part one and part three for me for sure. This is it better than part two? I don't know. Let's see because for me, I've seen part two three, four, five times and it's still like amazing. So. Let me just see whether this can match up to our right down part two is still my favorite. But this easily beats part one and part three. Mm, Chad the health skills are done in like this guy's directing is, is 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 stupid. Like, because my thing is yes, amazing action choreography, amazing set pieces. Like the cinematography is beautiful, and just what he just does with the camera and just how official the film looks and so forth. Guys, Donnie Yen, man. Donnie. Guys, <laughs> I was pawns, but Don guys, Donnie Yen overperformed. That's the thing. Like, he exceeded my expectations. Like, me, I thought, okay, no, Donnie's going to be amazing. But what he does in this, and how he does it, and how he executes his moves. Bro, I can't watch movie again. Like, see, for me, let me just let this rest. But I've got to watch this. What I've got to watch this film again. But all I'll say though is, Donnie Yen might be the goat. Donnie Yen might just be the goat. But guys, go watch this film now so we can discuss this freaking film. <laughs>